we still talk about the African American church. It wasn't just our traditional denominations. Uh, people were actually coming as they migrated from the South and starting their own uh, churches. That's why when you walk through or travel through North Philadelphia, West Philadelphia that are now African American communities, you see a lot of storefront churches because part of freedom is that I can now start a church. So you have the traditional denominations, the OICs and the Reverend Leon Sullivan's of Philadelphia, but you also have folks that for lack of a better term, we say are the cult figures. So you have a Daddy Grace who started United House of Prayer here in Philadelphia. You have um, Father Divine who came down from New York and started his church also here in Philadelphia. And Father Divine was just like a Leon Sullivan. He would have all sorts of economic opportunities for his members. And we know him from the number of churches that he established in North Broad Street, uh, in uh, South Philadelphia, and in West Philadelphia, and phenomenal properties such as the Divine Lorraine or the Divine Tracy Hotel or in South Philadelphia, his other uh, locations. So we have a, a tremendous opportunity for blacks who are migrating, not just for economic development, uh, freedom, so to speak, but for religious freedom.